Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over how to set up a simple pause menu in Unreal Engine 4. You can press the P key and the pause menu will appear, and I can click this resume button, and the game will stop being paused. So, the first thing you want to do is head over to the third person BP folder, go to Blueprints, and once we're here, you want to right click, look for User Interface, and select Widget Blueprint. And then you just want to call this your pause menu. Then, if we double click and go inside here, and head over to the palette and look for some text, and just drag this into our canvas. And you just want to drag this anchor and place it where your text is. And I'm going to make my text say the word paused. And I'm just going to scroll down and change the size of this to be 40 so it's quite big. Next, in the palette, you want to look for a button. And just drag this in here. And I'm just going to anchor this button to the middle of the screen. So I'll drag this into the middle of the screen. And then we want to look for some text and drag this into our button. And I'm going to make the text say resume. So when we pause the game, we'll click this button so we can resume the game. Then we want to select this button again, press Ctrl C, and then select the canvas panel and press Ctrl V to duplicate this button. And we'll make this button say the word quit. And when we click this button, it'll quit the game. I'm just going to select this button and drag the anchor so it's here. So this is how our pause menu is going to look. We're going to make it so that when we press the P key, it'll pause this game and show this pause menu. So I'll just compile this, close this, and head back to my third person character. Then we want to, in some free space in the event craft, right click and look for the P key. And just select it. And when we press this key, we're going to make it so it pauses the game. So next we want to right click and look for is game paused. And drag off here and look for branch. So when we press the P key, we'll see if the game is paused. If the game is not paused, we'll make the game paused by dragging off false and looking for create widget and we'll create the pause menu that we just made we'll then add this to the viewport and then we will right click and look for set game paused and just check it and this will make it so the game is paused and we also want to head back to our p key and just click this button called execute when paused this will make it so that we can press the p key when our game is paused and then if we press the p key and our game is paused then we're going to remove our HUD from the viewport and make it so the game's unpaused. So to do this, we want to drag off here and look for is valid. This will just check to see if our pause menu is on the screen. And if it is, we'll remove from the viewport by dragging off here and looking for remove from parent. And that will remove it from the viewport. And then I'm just going to select this with Ctrl C and then press Ctrl V. We'll plug this in here and just leave this unchecked. And this will make it so the game is unpaused. So I click compile and click the play button. If I press the P key, my pause menu shows up. And then if I press the P key again, the pause menu disappears. So now we're going to make it so that when our pause menu appears, we can also unpause the game by clicking the resume button. So to do this, if we head back to the pause menu and go to the graph, we want to right click and look for get player controller and event constructor. This will fire as soon as the HUD appears to the viewport. We're going to set our input mode to game and UI only. And then we're going to drag off here and look for set show mouse cursor. And this will just make it so that we can interact with the buttons on the game. And then we want to head to the resume button and scroll down and go to on click. And when we click this button, we're going to make it unpause the game. But first, we're going to right click and get our player controller and set it so it's game mode only. So look for set input mode game only. This will make it so we're just back in our game mode. Then we're going to drag up here and look for set show mouse cursor and leave this unchecked. And then we'll drag up here and look for remove from parent. This will just remove this hard menu from the screen. And then we'll right click again and look for set game paused and just leave it unchecked and then click compile then if we head to the designer there's one more button we need to set up the quick one so we'll click it scroll down and go on collect we will just drag up here and it for quit game and this will just make it so the game quits and we also just want to select the bit where we hide the mouse cursor and press ctrl c head back to our third person character and just press ctrl v here so that we hide our mouse cursor when we stop showing our pause screen and now if I click compile and click play, if I press the P key, it will show me my pause screen. If I click this resume button, the game will be unpaused and I can play again. 
I can also press the B key twice to show my pause menu and press it again so it hides the pause menu. And that's how to set up a pause menu in Unreal Engine 4. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.